morning. It's Friday. By the end of today, Liam should be able to hear again out of his ear. Hear out of his ear. <laughs> so Liam is getting his ear syringe today after two and a half weeks of this ear blockage infection deal that we've been living through. But hopefully that means it'll all be sorted by the end of the day and then it'll go back to the opticians because his prescription in his glasses isn't correct. So he's having trouble wearing his new expensive glasses that he purchased. And on the note of glasses, I've got to go to the post office this morning, which is what we could just start to do to get everything sorted before the day goes on. Good boy, bug. I've got to go and pick mine up because we missed them yesterday. And we had Storm Doris yesterday, so it was pretty darn windy. I took mum to some appointments and... You think it was tame? You didn't leave the house. Yeah. He didn't leave the house. It was really, really windy. I'm sure you've had a lot of it through Twitter and stuff, but there was roofs being like blown off and lots of little bits of trees. I don't think we had any big trees going down apart from one in Queen's Park, which had cracked. Scared, but a bit, but come on, bug. And what else was there happening? I don't think there was too much damage around here, but it was it was really windy. So I've been and got my new glasses, but <laughs> one pair is okay. And it's the pair that I bought on a whim because I really love the style and it's definitely not everyone's taste. I'm digging the whole aviator style at the minute. And obviously once I don't look like an egg, they'll probably look a little bit better. They're really comfy to wear and I think they'd be good for driving because there isn't much frame on them and the lenses are bigger, so they'd be much better for driving. And then the other ones, the ones I was really excited about, are actually really loose and a little bit wonky. So I don't know whether my opticians will alter them for me because obviously I didn't buy them there. Actually, they don't look that wonky once. I always lift this eyebrow up as well, which doesn't help. But they're a little bit, a little bit wonky. I think once I've got my fringe on, it's, it's not too much of an issue. But they're just a little bit loose, and the arms wiggle a little bit. So Liam's been trying to find his screwdrivers, and he can't find them. So these are my other ones. These are the ones I'm probably going to be wearing on a regular basis. And again, they're just a bit more me now than those big chunky black ones. I'll probably wear those as well because my prescription hasn't actually changed all that much. So I'll probably keep those as like a spare, like a spare spare. Maybe I'll even keep those in the car for if I ever forget my driving glasses or if I ever forget to wear glasses whilst driving. I'm just a little bit concerned that they're a bit, I feel like they should be a little bit more this way. But I think my ears are wonky as well, which doesn't really help. Okay, here's what happened today. Liam went to his doctor's appointment this morning to get his ear syringed, which has been coming for ages. Um, the house is freezing, so I've put on scrubby clothes because it's the only thing that keeps me warm is stuff that's like gross and grimy and horrible. But anyway, he went to his doctor's appointment to get his ear syringed because for the last three weeks and the last two doctor's appointments, they've been telling him that the wax it was wax and that's what was causing his blockage and his hearing problems and everything else. Gets there today, the nurse excitedly tells him, there's no wax in there, you're fine, you don't need to have your ear syringed. The only problem is, he still can't hear. So she had a nurse, another nurse, um, double check it to make sure that she was right and yep, no wax, his ears are clean, but he still can't hear anything. So, he then asked, what's the next step? And she said, well, you need to now see a doctor and um, he'll probably refer you to an ENT, which is an ear, nose and throat specialist, which had they listened to him in the first appointment or the second appointment three weeks ago, we would have already been three, three weeks down the line on that. So he's really bummed out today because he went thinking that he was gonna come home and be able to hear properly and nothing. So, He's now made an appointment with the doctors, but that's not for another week. 
and then obviously he has to wait for his referral and then he has to wait for appointments with them and the chances are he had an infection. This is this is all what we're thinking. We think he may have had an infection in his inner ear um, when he, we all had that cold because he his cold was more of a head cold and that's why his ear got blocked. Um, and I think that he had an infection and that's possibly done some damage to the inside of his ear, which hopefully doesn't mean that he's lost hearing because it, like right now he says it just sounds like he's underwater and it's all muffled and he gets tinnitus a lot and it's very uncomfortable although he can hear it's not clear so if if he's lost his hearing our doctors are not too good and yeah i think we'll have to come to that at that point and see what happens and sort of take that as it comes because they should have listened to him. He told them that it wasn't the wax because it felt in it felt internal rather than external. Oh, so mum came round. We had to do some stuff with mum and sort of help sort of CB out and stuff. I've been on mission get rid of the cat smell in this house because of Luna and her peeing everywhere. This area is where she's been peeing. We've, we're yet to patch up these this horribly damp wall, um, but so far I've cleaned it with alcohol like 70% alcohol, I've cleaned it with, um, I've put lemon scented stuff down, I'm going to clean it with lemon juice because that can help break down the urine smell and then I'm going to lay some tinfoil on the floor because apparently cats don't like tinfoil and apparently they'll refuse to walk on it and stuff and be on it so the litter tray is no longer being here. I'm gonna do all I can to try and deter her and break the habit. I've also had biscuits down here and there's biscuits in the other area where she's been peeing. So it's only two specific areas of the house and everyone says a cat won't pee where they eat. So I've put biscuits down there and here and so far it's working. I also then fixed this wall in the hallway because this, fr this picture was in this frame. This picture was in the middle frame, bigger. And then we had an empty frame and we've been in this house over a year and a half, nearly two years, and we'd had an empty frame for ages. So I found this one that we had done in Skegness last year. So we now have one from when Scout was about, I think it was about six months old there. And then that one just before he turned two. And that's when we, he was about six months, so this one and this one over here is the same age of Scouty and that's Liam's mum and dad and little baby Scout. So I almost feel like we need to have one done somewhat every year. I just think it'll be cute, but we now don't have an empty picture frame, which is good. My house is slowly not smelling. It's slowly getting less smelly. I've done two loads of washing. I've had the candles lit. I know I've been rambling a lot, but I feel like I've not really spoken to you guys because I've been an entertaining mother. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just trying to get on and Liam, hopefully Liam will be home soon because it's half past four, it's nearly dinner time. So I just cleaned the rabbits out and Rosie was being semi nice. I managed to sit in the run with her and fuss her and, you know, stroke her to a point. I know I look completely frazzled right now, but she managed to jump out whilst I was in there with her. She made it to Rupert and all hell broke loose so i just went in and grabbed rosie in which she bit me so hard but i obviously i just blocked it out because they were fighting so um yeah she's just bitten me all the way like i was wearing my hoodie and she's bitten me so hard that my wrist automatically started to swell luckily she didn't actually break the skin and you can't see you can see the two tiny little bumps and the bruising that's beginning to come up. <laughs> but I instantly shoved a frozen tub of ice cream on my wrist because it started to swell straight away. But Rupert lost a massive chunk of fur. But I can't tell whether they're just frustrated because they have had time apart. I mean, it's been over a month now, well over a month. And they weren't together for, you know, that long. I don't know whether I've made a mistake leaving them apart this long. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get them rebonded, in which case Rosie will have to be rehomed because Rupert is the softest little sod you could ever meet. I mean, look at him. He's just so soft. I had to pick him up and 
put him on his back, which I don't like doing because it's not very nice to, for rabbits for you to do that. But I just needed to make sure he wasn't actually cut or bleeding anywhere. And this one is just going about like nothing's ever happened. But yeah, I'm a little bit stuck as to what to do with them because he's been going up to her side of the cage and sort of they've been trying to nibble each other and bat each other through the cage and I didn't know whether it was because the, the cage was there. So I kind of, I didn't move instantly. I didn't move quickly when she jumped up because I thought this could go one of two ways. It could go brilliantly or awfully and to begin with it seemed like it was going okay because... They were just sniffing each other and then it was like big ball of legs and kicking and fur flying all over the place. And Rose, you can tell when Rosie's lost fur because she's ginger and brown and Rupert is grey and all the fur that's come out is grey. I mean Rupert's got a little bit of brown on his belly but all the fur that's come out is grey and white and that's Rupert's colour. What are you doing you little nutter? What are you doing? Are you okay? No, don't eat me. You just bit me once. I don't need you to bite me again. Bug. Helpful, matey. So, yeah. If any of you guys have had rabbits before or know anyone with rabbits, we would very much um, appreciate any advice. I know there's a lot of stuff online, but a lot of the stuff I've read at the moment just says do it slowly, and that's what I've been doing. I mean, they were far apart, and then I put them closer together, and they've had each other's scent. I sort of like swapped the toys over and stuff so they know what each other smells like but I, I'm getting to the point where I just don't know whether they're ever gonna rebond which is really sad because Rupert is so lovely and I think he just wants to be near her and I don't know whether it was because he was trying to hump her because I don't know whether he is because she now smells like a different lady to the lady rabbit that he had before because she went and had surgery and her smells different I don't know all these questions but I'm going to keep doing research, I think that's what I'm going to probably do this evening. We're going to watch a movie and have some ice cream and some wine. But I think probably I'll sit and do some more research, see if there's anything else I can find. But seriously guys, if you guys have any ideas, please put them in the uh, comments below because they'll be very much appreciated. Good morning everyone! The boys have gone into town to get some new library books and get some breakfast and I had intended on doing some filming today. So I've just watched Nashville. Oh, all the tears, all the tears. I'm gonna stick the camera on charge whilst I'm putting my makeup on, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get at least one video done. <clears throat> and I need to film the cutaways for my haul video so I can actually start wearing the clothes that I purchased because that would be good and helpful because at the minute they're just sat in the bedroom waiting to be worn. Um, right now I'm making some peanut butter on toast. And this is probably the least flattering angle of life, but hey ho. So yeah, I've got to do a little bit of filming and then I'm gonna try and find some inspiration to write a blog post or two. I feel like I need to get back in the game because I've been really, really slacking recently. Okay, I think I'm done. Actually no, I'm gonna film one more video, but I might do that later. I might do that now. I've done the cutaways for my haul so I can start editing that. I've done my February top five, which I'm really excited about. I feel so good at filming. I know I felt sidetrack. I, uh, yeah, I played some music and I got inspired and I feel really good. Uh, guys, I don't know what happened in the last hour, but I ate food. I drank a cup of coffee. I listened to some music and it just came to me. So, still, if you guys have any, um, blah, 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 blah. if you have any requests for main channel videos, let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, I'm really happy with the top five video I just filmed. It's so simple and nothing fancy, but it just made me so happy that I did it. Sounds stupid, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to cut some cut, film some cutaways for that real quick, and I don't know. The boys should be home soon. It's... Half eleven, so I feel like I've gotten loads done, which is also helping my mood. <laughs> yeah, we did it over. It's over so now. here we are. It's five p.m. <laughs> Liam and I are both in our dressing gowns <laughs> because this house is freezing. We've got the heating on full whack. We've turned on radiators we don't normally have on because most of our rooms have two radiators, and we've turned on all of them. <laughs> I'm still cold. We've just ordered some pizza. 
not from main cha uh, main big chain pizza place just from a sort of cheapy takeaway place because we've end of the month we have no food in the house i'm gonna go through the freezer tomorrow i think and figure out what we've got and what meals i can make out of what's left and then maybe bulk cook a bunch of stuff ready for next week but i'm so ready for payday so we can actually buy some of the food so yes the camera battery's dying because i filmed quite a bit this morning i managed to film the two bits that i said i would do i didn't do any more because i thought the camera battery would die and it is doing but i have edited and uploaded one video already ready for next week i don't think i'm gonna have a main channel video ready for tomorrow because i haven't filmed one and i'm gonna film uh, try and edit the other one tonight to get that uploaded for next sunday so i'm trying to get ahead of myself and then on monday i'm going to go to the gym and get back in the game but it's like end of the month no money no food <laughs> i say no money we've just ordered like 15 pounds worth of pizza but it's better than 40 quid worth of pizza because Domino's and Papa John's and the like are expensive. Okay, funniest thing. This just tickled me so much. I I ordered a pizza with an egg on it. When you order pizza with an egg on it, don't you expect it to be like an egg? Like in the middle of a pizza that has a yolk that is slightly runny. <sighs> this pizza has an omelette on it an omelette that's an this is not what i expected but i'm gonna go with it i'm just really confused so the fresh start starts tomorrow and i've just spent the last hour drinking wine because you know it starts tomorrow making egg white and tomato like muffins i've cooked up some sausages that needed to be cooked because they were going out of date and I've chucked a load of food away, which is awful because I feel really, really guilty. But our fridge is now super clean and tidy. I've got some leftover bolognese from the other day, so I might have that tomorrow. I've got spiralised carrot, which didn't spiralise, it just sort of shredded. And some chopped peppers, which I can then use tomorrow as well. And then, yeah, fresh start. I'm really hoping that me being on top of the ball might help with everything else in the house. So that's the plan. I'm absolutely boiling though because this oven's been on for ages. I'm going to turn the heating off. Actually, that's a good idea because the scout's room will be like a furnace. But feeling good. I'm going to sign off now because the camera's dying and I'm going to just gonna spend the night and, and blah, 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 going to spend the night editing. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you've had a good Saturday. And yeah, see you in the morning. Bye guys.